Okay, wrapping up with some key things that were true for both chaining and open addressing. They used an underlying array, and we had constant time access to get to an individual index within that array. That constant time access to an array element is really essential to the efficiency of hash sets. The second piece that's really important is we needed a repeatable way to figure out where we were going to put something or where we were going to look for something. And so we relied on this method hash code. We relied on the fact for hash code that for the same input, it will always give us the same hash code. If I call hash code on tiger a million times, every time I'm going to get exactly the same value. And because of that element of consistency or repeatability, we can use that number to design our own scheme for how we turn that number into an array index. And that all takes advantage of the fact that we can access an array element in O of one time or constant time. I was working with a super small array, so I used the simple algorithm of just using the last digit. And that algorithm of going from the hash code to the actual index I should look in can be much more complicated as long as it's consistent.